I just love Ask SP, Will. Answering questions for the good of the Spawnling community. Plus, I'm starting to get a comfy spot going in this chair. Oh, well, don't get too comfy, Jem, because our first video this week comes from Hyena, and brace yourself, it's a new accusation. Uh-oh, the first new accusation of the year. Oh, new year, new new accusation. Now, are you braced? Wait a second. OK, I'm braced. Hi, GGSP. I have a new accusation for you. When you read Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, you said that you play as a first year Hogwarts student. You actually play all seven. Prepare to drink from the noob cup. Bye. Thanks, Hyena. Usually, we wouldn't address noob accusations from so long ago. We reviewed Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery back in 2018. But your amazing stop motion video was so impressive, we just needed to show it off. Yeah, the detail on the noob cup you made, wow, just wow. Nice work. As for the accusation itself, I believe what we said in the review is that you start as a first year Hogwarts student, which you do. Though you can select your own house and progress through the seven years at Hogwarts. Mm, and to be honest, I found it a bit tricky to make out what you actually said there, Hyena. Did you say you play as a year seven Hogwarts student or that you play as a Slytherin? I just don't know. Yeah, me either. I guess it's a bit of a mystery. Mm, a Hogwarts mystery. <laughs> <laughs> but in any case, I think we can agree there's no need to get Darren or the noob court involved in this one. Mm, absolutely agree. Hello, hello. Moving on now to another question, and this one comes from Gumption Pumption in the Glasshouse Mountains, Queensland. Why do .io games have IO at the end of the games? Thanks, Gumption Pumption. That's a really good question. Why do .io games have IO at the end? Mm, that is a tongue twister and a brain twister. I think we should ask Darren. My brain is thoroughly twisted. Hello, hello! Oh, hi, Darren. Do you know anything about why .io games have IO at the end, like Slither.io, for example? Oh, affirmative. Uh, .io is what's known as the Country Code Top Level Domain, or CCTLD, for British Indian Ocean Territory. So it's basically the internet address extension for that region. Oh, like how Australian websites sometimes end with .au. Affirmative, Gem. The domain extension .io is relatively easy to register as a domain name too, so it's quite popular amongst tech companies and game developers. And once there were a few popular games of a certain style using .io, it almost became a genre of game in itself. They are usually very simple, browser-based games, often with a multiplayer element. Uh, be aware, they can be littered with ads or transactions, and sometimes other players choose to use ugh, inappropriate nicknames. Uh, so check with your grown-ups if you're thinking of playing. I.O. also refers to input-output, which is commonly referred to when talking about computer devices. So that makes it even more appropriate I.O. to... Oh, get it? Appropriate I O. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, Darren. I know. I I O. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 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 wrap it up, you two. All right, all right. Got to go. Thanks, Darren. Bye. Bye, O. That's what I have to deal with. Moving on now to another video, and this one comes to us from Finlay. Hi, GDSP. I love your channel. My name is Finlay. I've got a question for you. One, will Pokemon be getting a new update? Two, is Mario Kart Tour going to get any more tours? I constantly beat all of the tours. Thank you. Thanks, Finlay. In answer to your question about whether Pokemon will be getting a new update, well, it depends on what you mean by Pokemon. There are quite a number of different Pokemon games out there. But we're going to take a guess that you might be referring to the latest main Pokemon game, Pokemon Sword and Shield. If so, then yes, there will be updates. Like the paid expansion pass due out mid-year, which will add new areas and Pokemon and things like that. I also heard that there will be a free update that will give players access to a small slice of this expansion pass too. More details about that are on the Pokemon Sword and Shield website. It's highly likely we'll see other updates too. As for whether Mario Kart Tour will get any more tours, I'd say yes to that as well. Nintendo seems to be running new in-game events all the time, like the recent Vancouver Tour. So keep an eye out on the Mario Kart Tour website news to see what's coming up. Also, I think multiplayer was recently added to Mario Kart Tour. Oh, yeah, so maybe you could try racing with friends. And on that note, we are sadly out of time for Ask SP this week. If you have a question for us, go here and send it in. And remember, we love to see those video questions, so any vids we show on the show will receive a GGSP pin and hat and stickers and stuff. Gotta love that loot. Oh, hey, Jem, if Old McDonald had a game, what would it be? Uh, Stardew Valley? Farming Simulator? Nah, it would be EIEI.io. Hello? Good one, Will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Old McDonald.
McDonald had a game, E-I-E dot A-O.